Reuben Foster, if you do not know the name, he was in the news. The 49ers uh, defended him, were defending him, saying they had more information than we did. And that's always the danger in forming opinions uh, in gas bag radio and television or in just public opinion when you don't have as much information as the teams. And they were telling you there's a reason that we're supporting Reuben Foster. We assumed cynically that the reason was that Reuben Foster is good. Now comes this story, and man, it, I don't know what to believe here because so often, Stugatz, in these domestic abuse cases, what ends up happening is the meal ticket has to be protected. And in this case, you're talking about a scorned ex-girlfriend, though. You're not talking about a wife. You're talking about a scorned ex-girlfriend who is coming out and saying she made the whole thing up. And you do what with that? If you're the NFL and you've proclaimed yourself a moral leader on this cause that always has a lot of he said, she said in it, always, according to American jurisprudence, has difficulty getting convictions from victims who are unwilling to testify. But if what this woman is saying is true, that she was lying before. Right. That she was lying about well, everything. It's, it, it's pretty important that we, you know, maybe establish that. The NFL establishes that but, if she's telling but, the truth. But I just, this woman does so, if that's true, she does so much damage, so much damage to this because such a small percentage, statistically, empirically, such a small percentage of victims are making this stuff up. But if you get one and you can then wave it around, like, it's, she just she has done it she has done a lot of damage to this cause that the NFL this is a crusade for the NFL. Right. The NFL is in waters it should not be in. It has declared itself moral authority on some of this stuff. We are bigger than the law. And I just don't know what you do when you get this. You get Well what's what, your what what's your concern? That she's she's telling the truth and then no. And it, no, my no. I don't know. I don't know the details of whether she's telling the truth or not. But these recent re- revelations, given the details, make it seem like she was lying before. Although, given that she was lying before, it becomes difficult to know if she was lying now. Right. But the details seem to exonerate Reuben Foster from what I have read. And all I'm saying is that the next time this makes an appearance, right. the, the very next time this makes an appearance, and the man says, "Hey, she's making it up." You are more likely to believe that she's making it up, even though statistically it's really improbable that a victim makes this stuff up. But now you've got the added element of because the NFL has gotten so involved in these causes and because Reuben Foster is now a name that some of you only know as linked to this crime that it appears he did not actually commit, what you end up having is the next time that this happens, the benefit of the doubt gets just a little bit contaminated, just a little bit diluted, and it makes the next woman not want to do this because of what will end up happening to her, which is already the reason why many women don't come forth. It makes it increasingly difficult. You're right. And and it's just so, because men, this sports radio audience is largely men, and very often what you hear is them yelling and screaming about, well, what if it's not true? But again, this, this is a to- this story is a total outlier. You're totally accurate in everything that you're saying. It's, it's absolutely valid. But I think with this experience, I'm probably getting closer to how I should truly view these things on the surface, which is wait for more information. Yeah, that's always what we should do, but the news cycle sometimes doesn't allow that. And I'm sure that I don't know what I said about this before, but I'm sure that I jumped to conclusions on it because it, it can be hard to just sit back and wait and not jump to conclusions. A lot of people are asking on Twitter and on text here, why would she now protect Reuben Foster? What's in correct. it for her? Well, that's that's right. that's correct. That's right. because they're not married. But the, the thing that becomes, one of the things that becomes problematic here is once you get to the point where there's the possibility that the story gets made up, If you pair that against, imagine this, Dugat. Imagine that a woman is simply in a relationship, uh, uh, her husband, and he, she caught him cheating, or something has happened that has broken their marriage. 
and she is now vengeful and scornful. She could do public damage. Because the NFL is in these waters, a false claim can do damage that's irreparable. We do not go back and report the set rec with the same intensity that we report the allegation. Nobody goes back. Reuben Foster, when he ended up in the news cycle, he ended up in the news cycle unpleasantly as this is your worst public moment and it defines you. And he came into the news cycle in a way that he will not leave the news correct. cycle. Correct. Yeah, and the and, coverage and, is just and, yes. no, but that stinks, man. Right. That that's the damage. That's it's the, awful. It's the damage that gets done. And again, it the, the one place that I've tried to be consistent on this subject is the NFL should not have taken this on as a crusade because the only reason what I just said happens is because the NFL has taken this on as a crusade. The NFL makes these stories bigger. Man, Sugats, before the NFL did this, domestic abuse cases were not covered the way we cover them now. Right, but then you had one that was, you know, caught on video with Ray Rice. I know, and that and, and that the world could see, and that know? and that changed everything, right? And so, wasn't didn't this story involve an alleged broken eardrum? I believe so. I'll check on it. But yeah, that Ray Rice video changed changed everything in the NFL. Dan, it's easy to say. Now you've been saying this all along. In fairness to you, you've been saying this all along about the NFL and being at the forefront of this crusade, but. I mean, if you think back to it with Ray Rice in that video, it was pretty impossible for them to sit around and just do nothing. They had to do what they did.